I want to see the right side on this 19 car when this race is over. It's hard to see at Darlington on TV because the wall blocks it so much because they run right up next to it. But man, he's been, I've never seen a guy this close to the wall that all day long sideways with a car that to me looks like right now has no marks if on it. If that quarter panel doesn't have a mark on it, it's been scared the better part of this race. <laughs> White flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Martin Truex, in the races where he's led more than 200 laps, has not been able to seal the deal. No driver who won a stage at Darlington has ever gone to victory lane. Truex won them both today. Kyle Larson now two and a half back. Martin Truex Jr. wins the Goodyear 400 at Darlington. That's an ass ribbon right there. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't quite Ned Jarrett who won here by 14 laps in the Southern 500, but the margin he had at the end of stage two and a caution free stage three. He held off Kyle Larson and drove away. It's the modern day equivalent of it, yes. that's for sure. Yes. Man, there's a little mark on that right rear. He he did brush it once or twice. Father, thank you for this. Thank you for these guys. Help us to honor you with this. Thank you, Father. My name is Lord. Amen. Coach Gibbs leads the team prayer as Martin Truex has scored his 30th career win, 28th all-time, and his third of the season. He is the only driver to go to victory lane more than once this year. And he gets his second win at Darlington. He won the Southern 500 in 2016. One hundred ninetieth win for Joe Gibbs Racing. In second by two and a half seconds. Kyle Busch third. William Byron, Denny Hamlin, the top five. Harvick, Elliott, Blaney, Busher, and Newman one lap down the top ten. That's scratched up more than I thought. Yeah. You know, I, I, I watch a dominant performance like this out Mark Truex Jr. And, and you know, he's going to do a heck of a burnout here too. He just doesn't get enough credit. I think it's because he's a pretty quiet guy. He just, and, and he doesn't shout it out to the world, but he does not get a cre enough credit for how talented he is of a race car driver. But today, boy, he proved what he's capable of. I think the biggest scare that he had was when Kyle Larson filled up his rearview mirror. He thought it was maybe a lapper on fresh tires. Didn't know it was Larson right behind him for a minute. Well, he didn't blow a tire out racing, but he blew it out on a burnout. <laughs> Both of them. Doubt whether there's much left. The quarter panel's destroyed now, isn't it? Oh. Called it, boys. Called it. Yes, you did. <laughs> you did have first pick. He gave me an easy one. <laughs> So we were joking during various breaks. Who was going to be the first to tell Martin that no stage winner has ever won Darlington? I think we'll leave that for Regan Smith. Oh, Martin Truex Jr. Thumbs up to the crowd. Quite the smoke show, Martin. Uh, I, I don't know if you knew this before the race or not, but no stage winner has ever won at Darlington. You just uh, you just put that to bed, though. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm glad I could do that. We've uh, we've won a bunch of stages here in the past couple of years, and just uh, it's always lady luck got us. You know, just track position, it'd be one thing or the other, and uh, just really proud of everybody at, uh, on this Auto Winners Camry. I think this flat black's a throwback to you, Regan, when you won here, but <laughs> now furniture, really cool throwback to Furniture Row, and um, hopefully Barney Visser's out there watching. I know Regan, both you and I owe him a lot, but. Um, this one's for Furniture Row. Throwback. Pretty cool. And you had your car right up by the wall all day long. We made note of how good you were doing up against the fence. Was this car just so good that you were able to be confident in that? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, we had we just had a good balance. You know, the car would do what I wanted it to do. And, um, 
Yeah, I just had to manage those long runs. It was really loose uh, that last run, and, and I was nervous with the five catching us. And, uh, you know, we got mired in some traffic there, and that's always tough. But uh, thanks to auto owners, obviously, Bass Pro Shops, TRD, Toyota, uh, Cessna, uh, Noble Aerospace, Garmin, Oakley, everybody that helps us, Research Fine Foods. Um, we're really lucky to get to do this. I'm so lucky to get to drive for these guys. What an awesome team we have. Hopefully uh, we can keep this rolling. Nice job. Thanks, Martin. Thanks, guys. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.